Hey again everyone, this is Jan from New York City and you are looking at a beautifully framed picture of, well, actually it's my mom's bridal picture. What a beautiful bride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're talking about the frame and the idea. This picture is actually a copy of another picture of the original and the frame was bought, you know, as a brand new thing as its own gift. And mom was gifted with this beautiful frame a few years ago. Consider buying a good quality frame, taking a treasured photo, making a copy, and inserting that in the picture for a future uh, reference. That really is absolutely such a, a wonderful uh, picture and something I keep close to my heart as always, as I always will. Okay, got to show you something. This is an ordinary box, right? An ordinary box, the top of a box, okay? Let's see how creative people can be. So we're using an ordinary box, but we're going to transform the top of the box and it's going to turn into a picture. Okay, aha! But this is my mom, older, um, about 10 years, maybe 15 years back on the left, my sister in the middle, and I think you know who that lady is on the right side. I'm not sure. Remember, that was that box that you had just seen, the box top. And you could actually hang this, but belong to a box as well. You could actually hang this up. And to be honest with you, that's what I do. I have this picture hung up on a wall. Uh, and uh, I think it's a great picture to have. But it's just one of those things. Now, this is not a gift. This is an idea. See the way my hats are stacked up, my caps? Guess what? They're sitting on top of a lampshade. If you have an old lampshade that you no longer want to use, use an old lampshade to stack your caps. I just thought I'd throw that repurposing suggestion in the middle of it. And of course, Mr. Honey Bear, uh, children could get started saving their little pennies in one of these old cleaned out honey bear jars. And I like to use it not only to save pennies, but I like to use it as a paperweight. Remember paperweights? This thing makes a great paperweight, and I've had it for a while. My sister made this. I never heard of this thing before. It's called a tea cozy. A tea cozy. Isn't that beautiful? It, it's, it supposedly keeps teapots warm. I, I really, I never heard of this until recently. Uh, very, very talented, sis, that you are. I love it. That is really, really beautiful. And also, these are the cookies, uh, the Halloween cookies that we mentioned, that my sister mentioned, this easy-to-do recipe. And I can include it on the description box below. You're just basically dipping cookies in white chocolate and putting eyes on them. And those happen to be the peanut butter cookies that are very famous, the ones that you could get at the grocery store. So they look yummy. I want one. Sorry, just saying, just saying. And the ones behind them look like little little goblins I guess now look at this this was sent to me by Lisa Miller okay Lisa Miller is one of my loyal subscribers she made this this is a superhero cape look how beautiful that is that is just so so cool I believe this was knitted for making a mistake it looks knit to me that is absolutely gorgeous and uh, it actually comes with an additional cape to it very very cute and I understand that people love them so much they took orders from you, huh, Lisa? Look, see the top of that? Isn't that gorgeous? Wow, such detail. I have to say, my viewers and subscribers are quite the talented crowd, for real and for true. But then again, do I expect anything less from such a group of wonderful people like you? Now, that is really, really cool. I love the detail on top of that. Really nice. Look at that. Uh, also, in addition, she makes these caps. Look at that. Lisa, you're good. Holy smoke, that's really, really nice. I understand you made 50? 5 zero? Wow, holy smoke. Very, very nice. What a crowd pleaser. I think uh, you're making it for some group in school or something. That Now, Sharon Jackson showed me this. I never heard of this. This is a light-up crochet hook. If anybody with issues with vision that like to crochet, what a perfect gift idea. Isn't that just like the coolest? Never, never heard of it. But of course, people in the crochet world would know this more than I would because I'm not part of the crochet world. I attempted it and believe me, it was a disaster. So some people are just better off giving the gift of gab like I have instead of crochet. <laughs> Sharon Jackson, look at this hat. 
This is a baby cap. Look how cute this is. Look at the detail. All you guys are just absolutely, I mean, seriously, really and truly, you guys are beyond talented. I love the color. I love the design. That looks kind of complicated. Well, anything looks complicated to me. In addition, these are coasters that Sharon had designed and crocheted. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I really, really love the detail. Look at the other cap. I love that. Look at that fringe ball on the top. Wow. That cap is really, really cute. Love it. Beautiful color. Now, this is a method that Sharon taught me about. Roast chicken that she sits down on top of a, get this, bunt pan. A bunt cake pan. Look at that chicken just sitting up. His, his arms are up in the air or whatever you would call them. Oh, wings. <laughs> Not arms. <laughs> oh, I love that. That... You know, that, the coloring of that chicken looks perfectly cooked. Doesn't everybody just want to, like, dig into that chicken there? That looks so good. What a clever idea. And I'm seeing potatoes, if I'm not mistaken, along the sides. What a method. Sharon, I have to know how long that you uh, put that into the oven for. That looks beyond delicious. And the seasonings, too. Uh, oh, my gosh. This is definitely worthy of company. I'll call that company chicken. Company chicken sitting on a butt cake pan on a Sunday afternoon with potatoes as its company. <laughs> very, very cute. My sister made these biscottis, and biscotti means twice baked in Italian. These are twice baked cookies. Yum. Love biscottis. I made biscottis too for Christmas. They are a crowd pleaser. Sharon Jackson made these, I believe, are these peanut butter and chocolate brownies. I believe so. Hi, yay, 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 Sharon. What are you doing to me? Well, the good news is you can't gain any weight looking at a photo, but you will develop a hankering for it. That, that's, <laughs> that's the only downfall of gorgeous looking photos such as this. Just saying, Sharon, just saying. But either way, wow. Okay. Uh, Sharon Jackson also included this gorgeous apple bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Look, you could see the apples peeking through the bread. That's how that's how you know when when breads are like really like well they're all good, but when you see the fruit poking through like that, you just want to grab. Now this is for everybody that works so hard, take a nice break and have some of that garlic toast pizza. Remember this? Uh, Sharon Jackson submitted that recipe a while back, but if you have these garlic toast slices in your freezer, Doctor it up with a little marinara sauce. Get your favorite topping or shredded mozzarella or Parmesan cheese or vegetables or whatever. Pop that in the oven and you have yourself a wonderful, yummy, scrump delicious meal for the taking for a fraction of the cost. In case you get drop-in company at the last minute, that's a great idea. And of course, who doesn't want to top? their day off with a little dessert. Remember this? Sharon tried uh, recently another one. This is also with the uh, lemon pudding and the uh, cream. I don't know if it's cool with cream and the crackers. This is so good looking. Again, who wouldn't want that? And after all that hard work, everyone deserves a little treat. So in the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for viewing. I really love giving these gift ideas and suggestions. Keep sending them. Keep sending them. Whatever you have, whatever you've made, and it will show up here eventually. Have an amazing day and a wonderful upcoming weekend. Have a safe and fun, happy Halloween. Have a great day. And thank you, my dear friend, Joanne. We know each other a million years. Happy birthday today, by the way. Wow. Look at this gorgeous. See how she topped off her sofa with these beautiful toppings there? Beautiful for armrest and everything and for the back and for the seating area. You have always been very talented and very, very creative. Thank you so much, Joanne. And I really appreciate 
you're submitting the picture. Very, very pretty. Goodness bless. Have a great day, everybody.